Welcome back. Changeable skies across the twin tiers today. Started out with some sunshine, but then that cold front moved through early to mid afternoon, reducing visibility, even reports of some thunder snow in a couple spots as the front uh, passed through. Now it's off to our south and east and colder temperatures sinking south out of Canada. And uh, those colder temperatures can be with us at least through the first half of the weekend. We'll kind of turn it around a little bit for Sunday and boost those temperatures back into the 50s as early as next Monday. For the time being, though, 23 in Elmira, 19. The current temperature in Binghamton, also some upper teens in Dansville, looking at low 20s for Buffalo and Rochester. But that's not the whole weather story. It's obviously breezy out there. You factor in those winds, it's feeling more like single digits in Dansville. One below right now in Bradford. That's the current wind chill value, feeling like 12 in Elmira. And Binghamton reporting a wind chill of 3 above 0. Satellite radar map showing those snow showers and snow squalls from earlier today. Pushing off towards the south and east, affecting areas closer to New York City right now. Uh, in its wake, looking at some limited moisture coming off the Great Lakes, and you can see some of these snow showers coming off of sections of Lake Huron and the Georgian Bay area down through near Toronto. And uh, we'll get some of these snow showers and flurries occasionally during the overnight period. Accumulations though, will tend to be localized and generally under an inch, so not expecting anything significant. But again, a passing flurry or snow shower certainly can't be ruled out. Otherwise, variably cloudy skies through the overnight period and temperatures bottoming out near 10, but occasionally those wind chill values below zero tonight. So the cold front pushing off to the south and east here as we go through the overnight period. And for Saturday, we'll start out with some flurries or light snow showers, but with high pressure moving in, increasing amount of sunshine as we go through the afternoon, the winds will tend to relax a little bit as well, but temperatures quite chilly. The best we can do is lower 20s for high temperatures. And then with this high pressure centered right over the region for tomorrow night, crystal clear skies and light winds will allow temperatures to plunge down into the lower single digits. May even see a couple spots below zero for actual temperatures tomorrow night into early Sunday. And then as this high slips off the coast, our winds will reverse and come up out of the south here late Sunday and especially into early next week. And that'll drive temperatures back up again. But tomorrow's planner looking cloudy to start a little bit more sunshine by mid afternoon and notice temperatures well below where we should be for this time of year with highs only in the lower 20s. Some spots in northern New England not getting above zero for high temperatures tomorrow. As we go into Sunday, we'll boost the readings up into the 30s and then by Monday, upper 40s to around 50. So again, the cold's not going to last for very long. Planner showing the variably cloudy skies tonight. Cold temperatures, passing flurry or light snow shower. Uh, flurries for the first part of Saturday. And then notice our skies will clear through the afternoon, but temperatures awfully cold tomorrow night heading down to the single digits. And then for Sunday, again, we're looking at a lot of sunshine. So a nice way to end the work week or the weekend, I should say. And with winds coming up out of the south, temperatures will come back up into the 30s, a little bit closer to where we should be for this time of year. Forecast 30, 32, the unofficial high. 10 for a low tonight. Lingering snow shower can't be ruled out. Early flurries tomorrow, then partly sunny. 22, our 5-degree guarantee. And here comes the 7-day forecast showing some milder weather for early next week. 51 on Monday with some late-day showers possible. Looks like a wet day on Tuesday. And then a little bit colder towards the end of the week with some mixed rain and snow showers possible. It is looking pretty brutal tomorrow. Good news is it's not going to last for very long, but uh, yeah, definitely want to dress in layers because the temperature doesn't tell the whole story. Those windy conditions will drive the wind chill values close to zero at times tomorrow. Wow. All right. Thanks, Joe. Okay.